Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafor and today we'll be basically looking into the Blender Fluid Simulator. So Blender has a fluid simulator if you don't know and it's quite powerful. Um, over the few releases it's not been prioritized but um, it's quite um, useful. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to simulate basic filling up of a tank inside Blender. Um, so let's uh, start up. I will add a simple cube and place it here. So this cube will serve as our tank. And I am just going to delete the space. And we are all set. I will apply the rotation and scale because it's always a good practice to always apply the rotation and scale. So to do that, you just press Ctrl A and select rotation and scale. Okay, so to fill up this tank, we need something that will emit the water so um, you can use any object for this i'll just be using a simple cube also so let's quickly name this i will call this um, emitter and i will call this tank okay um so everything is set up finally we need a fluid domain so we'll just add another cube just make sure it covers the entire simula uh, simulation object. So something like this is good. And let's name this domain. And let's select everything and press Ctrl A, apply rotation and scale. And yeah, so we can proceed. I will just select this cube and go into the specific start um, panel and we'll search for fluid. So for the fluid, let's select, um, so if you want to make the fluid emit from a single geometry, you want to select the inflow. So this makes that happens. And the parameters here are quite simple and straightforward. So we have the volume initializer. This basically means how will it emit the water. So if you select volume, which is default, it's going to start emitting the whole water from the face, from the whole geometry like this. So you have other options like shell and you have both. So for this, I'm just going to leave it at the default, which is volume, and we can proceed. Um, before we proceed, we also have the inflow velocity. So we'll be looking at this later. This is quite important for how the fluid is going to be pushed out. So you will see in a bit. So let's select this domain and also apply a fluid to it and select domain. Um, we can leave everything as it is. Um, the main stuff we're going to be playing with is the final resolution and preview resolution. So I'm going to leave this as the default so we can get quick pre um, quick feedback. Then when we are happy with it, we can increase the resolution of this of the fluid. Uh, okay, so for the simulation thread, I like to set it to eight because that's my CPU can take up to eight thread so because you can see how much thread you have if you go to the performance and on that thread so i have eight so the higher it is the more faster it's going to simulate okay so we are all set and we can start simulating i will just bring up my timeline so animation timeline so we go back to the bake and so it, make sure you save your simulator simulation i will save mine in my desktop and we'll just hit big. So since the preview size is, the resolution is quite small, so it's going to be um, going so fast. So what you can see here is you get this really weird stuff. So the reason for this is because we have not told the, sim um, the simulation to do anything. It's just stay in place. So we need to tell this emitter object to push out the fluid this direction okay so for us to do that um, we select the emitter object and which is the inflow so this is the x axis as you can see so this pink pink is x so you, yeah so this is the positive and this is the negative so we want it to emit at the uh, negative direction so let's set it up so we'll just select negative 1.5 so if you inc um, increase it to negative 14, it's going to um, emit further. So negative 1.5 is perfect for this instance because I've played with it. 
Okay, so um, let's re-simulate that. I'll just delete this annotation. So selecting the domain once more, we'll just hit bake. So as you can see, it's pushing it um, forward. <coughs> um, so I think we need more force um, for the emission. So let's set this to negative 2.5. Okay, so it's good to leave your domain at a very low resolution so you can easily debug any issues and try to get it to work basically before you proceed. Um, finally, because even though we play this simulation, the fluid is going to pass through this cube like it's not there. So let's make it interact with the cube. So we also add the fluid for the cube, um, for this tank, and for the type we're going to select obstacle. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the parameters are also quite straightforward. Um, the two things you may want to play with is the vo um, volume in initializer. So by default, it's set to volume, but we don't want that. We want to switch it to shell. So this basically means for geometries with open faces like this, this is a shell object. So this is going to work best for this situation. So if you want, if you have like a solid stone, ob like a closed object, you want to select volume. So this is perfect for this instance. Also, you have the slip type. Um, no slip is going to make it uh, stick on the geometry. So partial slip is going to make some slip and uh, stick on geometry and some just flow. Um, so partial slip is a best setup so you get a more realistic um, result. Um, yeah, so let's bake it. This time I'm just, we can actually change the viewport to final so we can see better resolution and let's bake so it's working perfectly yeah so yeah it's looking good um if you want it to fill up faster probably you have a very smooth animation time and you want the tank to fill up really fast um, a way to do that is to play with the speed so if you increase the speed it's going to fill up faster and also the end i from playing with this i think this end means the base the lifetime of the um, fluid so if you increase it it's going to last longer um, because as you can see um, it takes a lot of time for it to really um, start filling up from here so if you want to get like a faster fill up this is um, because I wanted to fill up before 250 frames um, so I'm going to increase this and to something like 12 okay and increase the speed to 2 so it's gonna speed it up and fill up the tank very fast um, yeah so let's pick that one again As you can see, it's much faster now. Though increasing the end time is going to increase your simulation time slightly, but it's not too crazy, except you increase a very high number, then you will get slow simulation, but 12 is pretty decent. And as you can see, we're getting more water faster than before. Okay, and it actually bakes really fast. Um, okay, let's say 160 is pretty good, so leave it at that. So yeah, um, let me just um, because this is quite fun for me. Um, let's make it emit particles. So you know when water splashes, you get like nice particles. So blender. Uh, simulator can also blender fluid simulator can also achieve that so let's enable particle generation to do that we're gonna add another cube so this cube will be the particle con um, the fluid particles container so I'm just gonna set the display type to wire okay and I'm gonna select fluid again and set it to particles and set the influence size to 1 Okay, so if you want drop particles 
float particles and so basically float particles are going to be floating on top of the water and tracer particles are going to follow the velocity of the water to emit particles so just to go crazy i'm just gonna add everything and finally you need to select the domain and go to particles so let's increase it um let's set the generate to one tracer to one so you can play with the values later and let's bake it Um, you know what? <laughs> I think we'll just keep the. I've, I don't really understand the particles yet, but it was just fun to play with. Um, let me see if I uh, turn this off. Anyway, let me just turn this off and let's simulate that again. Hopefully, to not fuck the um, mess with the field. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I think you just need to add the. Particle, um, part, the fluid particles container like this one, and it should generate some particles over time. Anyway, it's it's not really um, consistent. Um, yeah, so you can play with this. So basically, this is how to create a fluid simulation uh, simulation in Blender. Uh, let's increase the resolution and we can talk about how we can fix some of this stuff here. So I will increase the final resolution to uh, 100. And yeah, so let's pick that again. So it should look much better. It's not looking really nice. Let me increase it to 150. So I'll just pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's not really done um, simulating it, um, but I will just leave it here. So as you can see, it's quite nice. So let's talk about a way of making it look, uh, pushing it even further. So the awesome thing about this workflow is we can add modifiers after this fluid simulator. So you can add a very cool uh remesh modifier to create like a blocky effect so we add the block so if we increase it to like eight so we get this kind of cool flu yeah so so this is really nice because we can add the smooth modifier and increase the factor um, seems not to work so the smooth okay so increasing the factor we can smooth out the field even better to remove those artifacts okay so we get a much cleaner field so um I th then for this outer shell, we can just add a quick solidifier modifier, just slightly, and yeah, we have a nice looking fluid. So guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, and if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye for now. See you next time.